Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to set up your Diatone 339 with Falco. These come already flashed with Falco, so you don't need a computer. Yeah, I said it. You don't need a computer. Leave that computer, I don't know, on your desk. So here I've got my Crossfire receiver plugged in, which I showed you in the previous video how to do that. I've got a battery hooked up. And I'm going to, as you can see here, it's searching right now for the protocol. So basically right now what you need is a pair of goggles, or I'm using my Tango, or a monitor, and you can see it's searching for the radio. So I'm going to turn my radio on. I'm just going to say first, if you do have a throttle curve or capture anything, make sure those are all off right now, so that it will find uh, the throttle range properly. And i got to bind to this guy real quick. There we go. You should find it there. Crossfire Smart Audio. Now it asks me to move my arm switch. So, let me move this out of the way here. So my arm switch, that's this one. Now I move my six stick in the circle for two seconds. That's getting the range. Now lay the quad down flat and center the sticks. Okay, my quad's flat. We center the sticks. Move the throttle to the bottom. Yaw left, pitch back, roll left. Place your arm in the arm position. That's the, this is my arm switch. That's where I like to put an arm. Roll right, boom. Uh, yeah, that's it. That's all I had to do. Now it's ready to run. So now what you have to do is it says, yeah, please power cycle. We're gonna do that. Unplug it. Plug it back in. And there, uh, one of the things that I did mention, I forgot to mention, always goes to A1 when you start Falco for the first time for programming. So now you see there's the OSD, Falco X. To one get, minute. Thank you. To get in the OSD, you're gonna take your sticks, bottom left, boom. Okay, page one. Uh, don't, right now, these are really good defaults to start with. So I just wanna, if you just wanna go out and fly, go ahead. So there's page one. So these are your PIDs. Page two are your uh, rates. So you can either pick one of the uh, presets here. You've got default, race, Sean. That's the one I use, Sean rates. Willie, Blackbird, Vanover, PG3, heads up, Chief, Fat Kid, Meow, uh, Freestyle, tons of them there. Pick which one of them you want and just leave it there and that will select it. Here's your frequencies. When you change uh, the setting in your PIDs, one of those pre-tunes, it also changes your frequency pre-tunes. Basically here, the newest one is this dynamic filter, and then... Uh, Timer one elapsed. Thank you. And what you this dynamic filter strength, it works the opposite so of a frequency. So the higher it is, the more filtering you're going to get, the more smoothing it's going to be. Um, I, 80 is really good. Willie likes his on 300 for the freestyle stuff. Uh, here's your, uh, your TPA pit curve. You can do P, I, or D. And then here's your uh, smart audio. Okay, so it says Unify Pro 3, 332. You can see it's saying no VTX detected. We're going to come back to that one. And if you see here, if I change it to A2, it shouldn't change. Yeah. I'll show you how to fix that. Uh, here's LED lights. We don't have any of those. ESCs, these are BL S, so leave that D-Shot 300. Too. Here you got your double arm, your battery voltages, uh, cut your battery voltage low and high cutoffs, to, and spin fix. Spin fix is uh, so it doesn't yaw spin, and right now that's set really well. And here's how you set your switches. Ah, Copa would not recommend with this, because if your prop's jammed, it's going to burn up your ESC. So really, the only mode I really set is motor beep, so I can find it. So set motor beep, now set mode. Now find a switch you want. It's, for me, it's, oh, I don't have it set up. I'll use this one. You, so you move your switch, and then put it to the position you want on, and then roll left. And now it beeps. Okay, set up your OSD. You can change all these by moving up and down, left and right scrolls you. Y'all moves you back to here. You can change the font. 
here's where you change your pilot name and your video. And that's it. Uh, reset config brings it back to zero. Reset radio config is if you're changing radios or something, you'll have to go through the whole configurator again. Save and save and exit. I'm just gonna exit because I don't want to change, save those changes. Exit. So it warned you, I'm gonna roll right. Okay, so now I'll show you how to take care of that smart audio problem. Move my radio away. I'm gonna unplug this. All right, I took the top off. You don't have to do that. And here's your VTX board. And you see this switch? It's in the off position right here. It's right here. See this switch? You can reach it underneath there too. You just move this to on. Okay, so now that's on. I'm gonna plug this back in. Okay, and bottom left to go to our OSD. We're gonna go back here to our smart audio. You can go up here to, let's say you want A3, set one settings, changes. You can't see, so I'm not gonna change my goggles each time. Then I'm gonna put it back to A1, set one settings. Boom, that's it. Now, just go rip it and have a good time.